I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, like right now, I can feel like my skin tingling and it feels hot in certain areas. Like hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I just got out of the shower and I could have did my skincare while I was in the shower, but I thought instead I would share it with you. Um, so normally when I give myself facials, um, it's normally a long procedure because like my regular day-to-day -day go is like wash go, right? I bought the trial, not the trial, but the, um, the little small sample size of the product to see if I like it. And this is the Dermalogica, okay? I have a little issue right here on the side of my face where they're just scars. Let me get a little bit closer. They're um, scars from pimples that I had in the past and it's been like forever. So now it's like like true hyperpigmentation and I want to kind of like see if I can work on getting rid of that, right? So I looked at a couple videos and did a little bit of research and Dermalogica sounded pretty cool to try. So this is actually the kit that I got. It's a four piece kit. It comes with a pre-cleanser, a special cleansing gel, an exfoliant, and a hydrate. I was really interested in a couple of their products. And I went with the trial because I started looking at the prices of the regular products and I was gonna go ahead and get them all um, just to try it out. But the price point on each of these is pretty hefty. So I wanted to do a trial first before I went ahead and invested in that. And skincare is important. My skin type, I would say, is more normal. It's not really oily. It's not really dry. There may be like dry areas. I feel like in between my nose has always been like a little bit dry. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's it's a pretty normal um, skin type. When I do break out, I get like a bump, you know, and it's like a, a, a pimple that lasts forever. Like right now, Let's see, if you guys can see right now, there's a little pimple right here that's like under the skin. Right here, that's under the skin. So it's now also forming the freaking constellation of my face. Before I get started with any facial, I like to use my little steam pot here. So with my steam pot, I go around my face and I try to just like open up my pores so all the ingredients in the products that I'm using can get inside the pores. I'm actually gonna deviate a little bit from this product because I did read a few of the ingredients and knowing that like my skin type is normal, like it's not extra sensitive, but I don't want to put a lot of um, acidity or citrusy things on my skin. So what I did notice was that um, there's in their second step, which is the special cleansing gel, um, they have like a lot of lemon, a lot of citrus, a lot of extra. Yes, a lot of, um, like, Like it was just citrus is I don't know what. And I get it for some skin types that have like, you know, a really harsh breakout um, that's going on their skin. However, I'm not that much of an extreme case. I just have like just a little bit going on. I'm going to actually skip the special cleansing gel and I'm gonna replace it with my original cleanser that I normally use, which is by Fresh. It's their soy face cleanser. I'm just gonna pre wet my skin a little bit first. Pre wet the skin. Because I feel 
there. I'm just lightly rubbing my face. Softer. I'm just gonna gently wipe it off my skin. My skin feels extremely clean. I got this hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. I don't know if you guys can see. Which I also have heard that is really good for helping with pigmentation, um, hyperpigmentation. So I'm gonna put that on first. So I'm just gonna... Probably shouldn't do that. I'm just gonna lightly pat it in there. It's on there. It feels good. It feels like it's dried in there. All right, so to my most favorite, favorite, favorite products. Like I cannot live without this. I can live without the exfoliating. I can live without the like cleansing, okay? I can even live without the cream. But I cannot live without my Kale's Daily Reviving Concentrate. This stuff is the best stuff. I've been using this for years, okay? Years, I say, years. So for me, when I use this, it's super lightweight, but it's so hydrating for my skin. That's why I love it. I, I, I it, it's not heavy, it's like a thin layer, but it soaks into my skin so well. My skin loves this stuff. So what I do is I use like, probably like a dime full, like probably a full dropper. Um, when I run out of this stuff, I get really sad. Put it in my hands, wipe it in my hands, right? And get it centered. And then I just pat it into my skin. I love it. This is my favorite stuff, I swear. I always put this on before any creams, for sure. But I can't live without it. I can't, it's daily. It's the best oil, like it's not thick, it's thin, but it's so hydrating. It's so hydrating. We are going to be using um, their next and last, which is their skin smoothing cream. Let's try it. I'm gonna squeeze about that much. This may be a little bit too much, but we're gonna, I think it is too much. I don't need that much. I just wanna see how it sits on my face, you know? Like, I like to know how the product feels once it's dry. Um, yeah. It's a little greasy. It's a little greasy for me. So, um, hopefully it absorbs well. I definitely feel a tingling after um, the exfoliation um, of my skin. So, hopefully it's sucks up everything and absorbs everything. But yeah, let me come back like in an hour and see how my skin feels and we'll we'll just take a look at everything, okay? Okay guys, so I went ahead and got dressed and put on a little bit of makeup. I wanted to allow the cream to actually absorb in my skin. And honestly, I'm going to tell you how I feel about this product. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I think it's way too strong for my skin. Like right now, I can feel like my skin tingling and it feels hot in certain areas. Like it's just like, I don't know. It feels like it's gonna break out. That's a big no bueno. Um, and I kind of felt that way when I like started reading the ingredients and seeing how much citrusy it is. But the cream, it's, it's greasy to me. I feel like it's greasy. I don't like that greasy feeling 
on my skin. And I knew right away that it, I wasn't gonna like it because when I put it in my hand, I just didn't like the texture. The texture just felt like a body lotion texture. And like my other creams are very thin and silky. And so my skin feels a little bit irritated right now, unfortunately. So let's pray that I don't get a breakout. I may get a pimple here too. Um, but I feel like this product is way too strong for me. Way too strong. Um, but I tried it. That's why I'm very, very glad that I bought the trial size version of it, which was $39.50, um, as opposed to the price points, which were already high for these, for each individual ones at their regular size. Um, because I will not be trying this again. I don't even know if I'll try the exfoliant again. I think it's the, it was the exfoliator that really kind of opened everything up and it just wasn't gentle enough. I think it's way too strong for me and I can't use this ever again. I'm sorry, unfortunately. So um, Dermalogica, at least this, this set um, is a absolute no for me. Um, it is way too strong. I will be going back to my regular product that I use my, for my face and I'm just going to still be in search for a gentle exfoliator that works for my skin. So like right now I'm feeling like, it feels hot, it feels tingly. I don't like that. Like it's been an hour now. Um, and I don't know if I would mention that. I feel like the lotion, the cream itself is greasy and I don't like that greasy feeling either. Like I don't like it not for me. Thank you for watching this channel and going through this routine and trying out this product with me. I am not a professional skin dermatologist or anything like that. I was just trying out something new for myself and it didn't work out unfortunately and that's okay. You know, everything isn't for everyone. In this case, Dermalogica's products are not for me, but Again, I appreciate you guys joining in and tuning into the channel. And please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe because we're gonna have more videos like this. Um, hopefully videos that actually <laughs> I like the product. Um, but if not, I'm still gonna tell them, keep it real and tell you how I feel about it. So until then, I will see you next time.